Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now as per the title of the video, I'm going to be reviewing the Naruto ColourPop collection. I don't know if you guys can see it. I did purchase everything from the collection. Got a great deal. I apologize for any background noise. The kids are home, or at least two of their kids are home. Little ones on their way. And the AC is running. I'm super, super hot. Let's jump into this video. Now for starters, I believe this collection is about like 89, 90 bucks on ColourPop and a hundred dollars on Ulta because it's available at Ulta right now. I however use a discount code and for whatever reason, um, I think if you did Afterpay or A Firm or one of those for the day that I purchased it, they took like 20 bucks off. And any which case, at the end of the day, I got this entire collection for like 60, 61, 62 dollars. So I think that was a steal. And you know, I also got payments. So I had to, you know, dish out all that money all at once. So anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Here is the palette. If you guys are interested, I will show you at the end of the video the rest of the stuff that's on my face. I'll do a quick run through. And, and the top is kind of raised. I like this. I did promise my 13 year old she, uh, she can have the majority of this makeup because she's super into the show. I, however, know nothing about the show. So <laughs> there you go. So if I do butcher some of these names, please forgive me. Most of these shadows do not contain talc. I haven't even swatched this, so pretty. So for the ones that do contain talc, it is the, oh, here we go. I'm gonna butcher these names. Ramen, Ichi, <laughs> how do you say this? Ichiraku, whatever that is. That's this shade right there. That contains talc. Um, Hidden Stone Village, that's this shade right here. That contains talc. Hidden Sand Village. That one also contains talc. I think the last one that contains talc is Hidden Cloud Village. So the rest of them are talc free, just in case if you wanted to know, because I know some people do not, you know, mess with talc. I'm one of those people. That is the palette. I'm going to be using a couple of shades out of there, not too much. I really want to put the Super Shocks. Then we have the eyeliners on the screen. I will have prices to everything individually and then links to how to get the collection from ColourPop or Ulta if you're interested. Here's one of them. Nice and creamy. I might be using this shade today. This is the shade, what shade are you? Ninja Way. <laughs> The next one is in the shade Courage. Like a light baby pink. <coughs> Hope you guys like this shirt. I thought the shirt was super cute. Super fitting. Got from Shein. And the last shade is this blue, which is called Revenge. Okay, this is super, super light. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of how this one's. Oh, it looks way better on camera. In person, it's super duper pale. And then we have this, this is in the shade Gold Dust, and it is a, what do you call this? It's pretty much like a pot of glitter. Again, I'm pretty sure this is not eye safe. I hate the way these things smell, but we're gonna take a little bit from the top kind of swatch it. This is more like a body glitter. It's super duper chunky, but whatever. I mean, I guess my 13 year old is going to play around with this and have fun because, yeah, no. 
this this is just this is not my journey at all I'm gonna have to wipe all this stuff off because next we have the three super shock shadows oh wow look the eyeliner is really hung on so that's good to know great I'm gonna have glitter all over my hand but eating is what it is <coughs> Okay, the first super shock we have is this yellowish looking one. This is in the shade, it's so reflective, can you read it? Naruto, <laughs> I can't pronounce this. Uzumaki. But forgive me, or you, all of you uh, Naruto fans, but I don't watch the show. I don't know who any of these people are. This is the color. Oh, it's so pretty. You would definitely gonna be playing with this color. That's after I kind of mix it together. Let's see. Oh yes, look at this yellow. This golden yellow looks kind of like a dandelion sunflower color. Let's see, okay. I think we're gonna definitely be playing with this color. I definitely wanna play with at least two of the Super Shocks. The next one is in the shade Sakura Haruno. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. But she looks to be a pretty pink, like pink maroon color. Ooh, I think we're gonna definitely go with this shade as well. Let's see. I mean, I have somewhere to be after this, so hopefully it doesn't come out too over the top, but ooh, that's nice. And the last shade is... I should have asked my daughter how to pronounce all these things, but I didn't. <sighs> Sasuke or Sasuke? I, I don't know. Okay, I can you? I, you know what? If you guys can see that, yeah, ha I have fun. You can't even see the, the writing. Whatever. It's pronounced U C H I U C H I H A. I, I don't know, but it's this dude right here. God, I'm terrible at this the shame on my daughter's face if she sees this video like mom are you serious Ooh, ooh she's pretty he's pretty it's just a, it's a dude right yes it's a dude okay just watch mix it around let's see okay yeah these 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 forgive my poor swatching today those are the colors and last but not least in the collection is the ColourPop Luxe Slip Oil in the shade Chakra. Okay, this packaging, hang on, because I'm covered in eyeshadow. <coughs> Just got some shimmers inside. Let's see. Let's see what you're about. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, it's it's somewhat sheer, has a little bit of color. Let's see, yeah. okay, you guys can see that. All right, okay. Let me grab a new wipe and wipe all of this off of my hand, because knowing me. I will get it everywhere. Okay, we're already 10 minutes in. And oh my gosh, yo, I am rubbing and rubbing. This is not going anywhere. 
Oh, I think this is going to stain my eyelids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever had a super shock shadow do that before where it just stains and just leaves a color behind. So, I wonder what's in this super shock formula cuz none of my other super shocks do that. Guys, I'm like rubbing for dear life. And on the bright side, I got rid of most of the glitter on my hand, but yeah, now these swatches are not going anywhere. I'm not going to be swatching the palette, it's just too many colors and I'm kind of pressed for time, as per usual. <coughs> okay, starting off with the palette. I kind of wish there was a mirror and this uh, picture was on the outside. But it is what it is. The back has also got the shade names. We're gonna start off with. What are we gonna start off with? Hmm. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's spelled K A Z E K A G. Kazikage? Kazikage? I, I don't know. It's this color right here. It's like a a maroon a deep red burgundy ish on the right side i have a whole bunch of clean brushes <clears throat> so yay we love to see that and i think i'm gonna use a nice fluffy brush yeah okay and kind of going in with that shade now this is why I need a mirror because I cannot see what I'm doing. This palette does not come with a mirror, so bear with me. Let's see if I got a little mirror in this bag right here. Okay, we're gonna be using this as my mirror. This is the Natasha Super Glow Highlight. I'm just using it for the mirror. We're gonna take this and kind of keep it like in the crease area, crease transition area, and just buff it out. Again, I'm gonna do something somewhat simple because like I said, I have somewhere to go today, but you guys can see that. Okay, so I kind of took the color and just buffed it over here, transition, crease, just, the crease slash transition area, kind of just took it up a little bit. And whatever was left over, I just sweep along the bottom, nothing major. Then I'm going to take a clean brush and just buff out the edges. There isn't too much fallout, just a little bit right there on the bottom, not too much. And I think I'm going to go in with the inner corner highlight. Hmm. What do I want to use? You know what skip that let's start i'm playing with something on the lid first and then we'll go back to the inner corner i think i'm gonna use this super shock and put it on the uh inner portion of the eyelid let's see how that looks I love this brush. This is from the uh, Wet n Wild Stitch Collection, but that's what it looks like. Oh, that came out nice. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this brush over and use the other Super Shock, which is like this pinky looking one and do the rest of the eyelid see how that comes out oh that came out pretty i'm a fan <clears throat> what else 
can I use? Okay, I'm gonna use one of the eyeliners. I think I'm gonna use this one. This one right here. And just line my lower lash line. It came out really nice and it was super creamy. As for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go back in with that. <coughs> what color was that? That first color we used in the palette, which was this color right here, and a much more smaller brush. Probably something like this. Oh, that came out really pretty. So I'm gonna take this clean, fluffy brush with nothing on it and just buff out the edges. Oh, that came out stunning. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to use this teeny tiny little brush, nice little detailing brush, and I want to use, let's see. probably go in with this goldish shimmer shade right here, which is called Hidden Village. And just take down the inner corner. Well, that came out pretty. Whatever's left over, I'm going to hit the brow bone. And there you have it. That is a completed look except for some mascara. And oh, I'm gonna put on some lip. Can't forget the lippy. <coughs> this right here, let's see how this looks. And I already have my lips lined with the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat lip liner in the shade pillow talk too Oh, that is pretty. I don't think I've ever tried this formula from ColourPop. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes real quick and put on my Okay, so that is the completed look using the ColourPop and Naruto collection. Now, real quickly, the rest of the stuff that's on my face, let me just run through it real quick. <coughs> In case you guys were interested. <laughs> I have the Superhero uh, Mascara. I feel like it clumped a little bit over here, but I can fix that with my lash comb. Completely user error, not the mascara. So I have this as my setting spray. This is the Fenty Beauty setting spray. This is the bronzer I'm wearing, LYS Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Harmony. 
The foundation I have on today is from Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the shade Natural Beige. For concealer, I have on the Dose of Colors Concealer in the shade 11 Light Medium. For my setting powder, I have on the Kosas Cloud Set Setting Powder in the shade Feathery. To set my concealer, I have the Bare Minerals Loose Mineral Veil Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. For blush today, I have on this little mini blush from Rare Beauty Stay Liquid Blush in the shade Hope. My lip liner is, like I said before, from Charlotte Tilbury, the Lip Cheat Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Pillow Talk 2. As for highlight, I have on this Cover, FS, Cover FX highlighter in this middle shade right here, which is called Sunlit. And that's pretty much what I have on my face. I must say, this look came out really, really pretty. You know, I kind of would have wanted to use more colors in the Naruto collection. Naruto collection, a Naruto palette, but uh, I don't know. Like, I just, I went so in love with the Super Shock formula, so I know I really wanted to kind of do something with that on the eyes. But as you can see, there's definitely a lot of variety. And if you're not like, you know, an avid makeup where you don't really know what to do and you're kind of lost with all these colors, you can just literally kind of go down um, row by row for the most part. Like this is a look, that's a look, that's a look, you know, so on and so forth. Or you can probably, let me see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or probably put like two mattes and a shimmer. Well, there's a lot you can do with this palette. I know my daughter's going to have a ton of fun. Um, Like I said, I only really use one matte and one shimmer from here. And I did like how it, you know, it applied. I feel like this is, you know, the traditional color pop formula. So I can't complain. Um, the eyeliners. These types of like eyeliners, I have their regular sharpenable. Um, no, do I? No, I don't think I have any eyeliners from ColourPop. I think I just have lip liners. Anyway, this is really, really nice. And as you saw before, I had a hard time trying to remove the swatches as well as these super shocks for whatever reason. Like it kind of stained my hand, but I am not about it. The eyeliners didn't budge, so that's a good thing. These super shocks, what can I say about these? I haven't used the blue, but I'm definitely intrigued. But these right here, I feel like these were the star of the show. Maybe because I just, this is what I played with more, but I, I love this. This was really, really nice. I already promised my daughter this, but I, this is really nice. It came out really, really pretty. And it paired really well with the lip liner I chose today. <clears throat> uh, this potted glitter, I'm just, it's not my journey i'm not a huge fan this is i mean maybe if you guys wanted to like put a little bit of like bo like body glitter or maybe a little bit like over here to play with something you know for fun but yeah no it's just it's not for me and that's okay it's not for someone like me this is really really nice overall if i recommend if i have to recommend from this from this collection Sorry, I'm studying. I'm trying to rush. <laughs> it would be this. This Super Shocks. Um, the palette was cool. Mm. I, I really like this. Again, I got to see how long it wears. But when I was trying to wipe it off with the wipey, it didn't really want to budge. So I have high hopes for the eyeliners. I don't think you need all of them i don't know how often you're gonna wear this like this blue or the pink if you have to get one i think this one you could kind of like this goldish brownish bronze color i think would pair really nicely with a lot of looks so overall uh i don't think i would have spent the 90 bucks they were asking for for this collection or the hundred dollars that you know ulta is asking for for this collection but for 60 bucks definitely 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 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe. I have two other videos coming your way. I hope you guys are going to be excited. One of them is a fragrance video and the other is another makeup tutorial using in one of my older palettes, but you guys will see. Have a good one. Bye.